maybe Filipinos are just like naturally flirt. Why? Why would you marry a foreigner if you're not going to live there? Yeah. So that's always like a mind blowing for them that you marry yeah. the foreigner and you're not going there. Foreigners here are like hot commodity, like. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's vlog, we are going to talk about Filipinas and I have Gio in the Philippines here to discuss a very important topic. So the topic is the common problems that you will encounter when having a relationship with a Filipina. Uh-oh. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> first thought in mind, the most common problem is the language barrier. Mm -hmm. Do you agree? It depends on what Filipina you're with and her family, but it can be definitely a problem. Like you could go and yeah. meet their family and it's quite often that the older generation really doesn't speak English well. I think true. I think there's some people think that oh, Philippines they speak English like the older generation and maybe up in the province. It doesn't necessarily mean they really speak English that great. Yeah, and also if they like the Filipina can't really express their feelings. Mm -hmm. I actually experienced this especially when we have like arguments. Mm -hmm. It's very hard, even Argu if I speak English very well. Yeah. It's very hard for me to express my feelings when <laughs> we're having an argument yes. that I need to like translate it in my mind. What's the English of like cursing, you know, like. Right, right. Don't curse at me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like what you said, mm -hmm. when a Filipina would like introduce you to the family, maybe the parents, the relatives don't speak English very much. So that is. Yeah, there's common scenarios where you could go, maybe uh, Maya's family was, or, I mean, let's say your Filipina maybe is having a Christmas get together and you yeah. go there and you might just be sitting around while everybody speaks uh, Bisayan or Tagalog mm -hmm. or whatever and you feel kind of left out or like a fifth wheel. Of yeah. course, you, you can't expect the entire family just to cater and speak English just for the one person. Um, they are, you are in the Philippines, so you should try to learn the language, which can be difficult, mm -hmm. <laughs> but even just learning some words will help. So the second thing that I think that is a common problem mm -hmm. that you will encounter when you have a relationship with a Filipina is mm -hmm. the way how people see your Filipina. Like, for example, they see okay. your Filipina already like have a higher standard. We have a term for this in um, Tagalog, like a Filipina have a foreigner boyfriend. People would always say, Filipino always say that my Filipina na namang nakaraos sa kahirapan. So it means that, oh, okay. it means that there's, <laughs> it's Tagalog. It's, yeah. It means that that's, there's another Filipina that is taken out from poverty. So that's oh, what it means. Okay. So other people look at her and like, oh, they just all assume it's always about money. And, yeah. yeah. And then your friends, your relatives sees, start seeing you as a, a reliable person that they could ask for money. For loans. Loans. Yes. I've experienced it. I've experienced yes, it. <laughs> yes, that uh, they think that I am rich already because I am married to a foreigner mm -hmm. and they see me as a person that they could rely on. Like mm -hmm. every time they have a problem, they would ask right. me for money. Like, yeah. Even that. if they still owe me money, they will still think that I could just lend them again money mm -hmm. without paying the previous they think it's loan. More, they think it's more of a gift and not really a loan. Yeah, they will say, can I borrow money? But really, they don't pay it. Yeah, borrow <laughs> They gift. will just forget about it. Yeah. And they will just assume that it's okay for you because uh, you're married to a foreigner. So right. money is nothing to you. They see you like uh, they, you would go abroad, live in abroad, live in America because you married a foreigner. Right. So I was asked a lot if when would I 
-hmm. go to America, live in America, yeah. if it's happening. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I would say that I would leave there. Just to just quiet to them up. Quiet them, yeah. Because if I say that we don't have plans on living in America, we just want to live here, they would ask, yeah. why? Why would you okay. marry a foreigner yeah. if you're not going to live there? Yeah. So that's always like, a mind blowing for them that you married yeah. a foreigner and you're not going there. So for them to quiet, is, I will just say, ah, oh, maybe yeah. next year we will go. Yeah. Still working on the paperwork. Yeah. What other problems? Uh, well, also for the guy, they can be asking the guy. Um, when I first got here and had a relationship of uh, family members, even after mm -hmm. we had only worked together like three months, yeah. family members of hers that I didn't even know were messaging me like months after we weren't even together asking mm -hmm. for money. I'd be like, who is this? Oh, this is uh, uh, so-and-so's cousin. Um, I'm like, yeah, but we're, we haven't been together in like three months. Uh, I, oh, I, I understand, sir, but uh, my baby needs food. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so I would just end up blocking them. Other thing that you will encounter is if the if the Filipina is very family oriented, that family mm -hmm. comes first. Yes. It's very hard to separate from the family. Right. If you're Filipina, would like to help her family. Support her family. Support yeah. the families. Maybe she would say that uh, I'm eating really good and my family is not eating, rice eating and sardines and, yeah very well they yeah. don't have food they only eat rice and salt so they will play the guilt trip to you right right so you feel obligated to like help also and yeah. if you're a guy that could help then that's good but if you're right. someone that could only provide for you and your wife then that's going to be a problem right so that's one common problem and that could create yeah. drama yeah. and yeah. conflict with your Filipina if yeah. they want you to help their family also. And I think uh, for foreigners, it's a very hard idea to grasp because when we are out of the house, it's like we support ourselves mm -hmm. and we aren't really supporting mom and dad. We're not supporting others. We expect everybody yeah. to be self-sufficient. Yeah, I know that in so. America, when you're 18, you should be out of your house already and start working and have your own apartment, right? It's like that it's, in America. Y yeah, well, they want you to get out and yeah. get some independence and life experience and things. It depends on your family background. Mm -hmm. But I guess for me, I kind of have mixed feelings on the supporting the family. If I'm doing well and her family is visibly struggling, then I would feel guilty myself that I'm yeah. taking such good care and we have extra money and, you know, um, so I would be okay with like a fixed amount, yeah. um, not to go above that, not to be like, oh, this month I need 20,000, this month I need yeah. 30. You know, if I agreed or we agreed or whatever, um, like 10,000 per month, mm -hmm. then I don't want to be asked for more each month. Yeah. I mean, you got to make that work, you know? I mean, I don't see any problem of a Filipina helping her elderly parents, no. especially if um, they didn't save anything because they really just Amazing. have enough money to send you to school, yeah, yeah. send you to college, provide for you, and they are in their old age already and they mm -hmm. didn't save anything because like, yeah, they they're... spent all their money to you. Yeah. I think it's your, we call this utang na loob, like sympathetic help, I yeah, mean, yeah. to help your parents because they did a lot for you. So If the family is being lazy, like not doing anything mm -hmm. to try to better themselves. If they're Help just themselves, sitting at home yeah. drinking Red Horse, then I have a bit of an issue. Mm -hmm. But if they're, you know, if they're a farmer or yeah. they run a sorry, sorry store and they're struggling, then mm -hmm. I, I would be okay yeah. with that. Oh. It yeah. doesn't uh, hurt to help like 5k yeah. a month, right? For a right, foreign. It, exactly. So, yeah, but if it's like a family who's like everyone is just at home, their hands out, not working, even if they have healthy, right, young body, they're just like asking. Uh, That's a no go for me. The other issue for me would be like if there's like five siblings, and all of a sudden because I'm the one sibling marries a foreigner. Yeah. They all stop helping out the parents and it's only the foreigner then. Well, they should still help out a little bit to be, mm -hmm. you know. What other common uh, problems 
Well, um, a lot of Filipinas are extremely jealous and possessive sometimes. Mm-hmm. It can be the Latin blood. Um, <laughs> so yeah. that can be an issue because some foreigners, American girls don't seem to have that so much. So, uh, uh, so for some guys, that can be an issue. Just uh, Very jealous. Foreigners here are like hot commodity, like... <laughs> some Filipinas, mm-hmm. even if they see the guy with a partner already, yeah, yeah, they still like seemingly flirt. Like, right? They don't respect the boundaries of. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, right. I don't know if it's like they just come. It just come out. Like right. maybe Filipinas are just like naturally flirt. Like, oh. for example, if the guy would be like um, make jokes and they would like laugh on the mm. guy's jokes even if the wife is there <laughs> sounds familiar <laughs> no <laughs> yeah so that, that could be a cause of it and mm. I, I think uh, Filipino guys tend to cheat a lot more than uh, foreign guys but not always there's a lot of foreign guys that come over here and do that too. So that could be part of it, but that could be an issue. But yeah. mainly I think that it comes down to like family, language. Um, experiences, experiences, traumatic experiences from the family that the father cheated. Probably, yeah. Yeah, or an ex-boyfriend. Or yeah, whatever. an ex-boyfriend. Yep. Yeah. So, yeah, it just takes time to, to, sh- to get comfortable and say, okay, you know, he's, he's yeah. always with me. He's doing this, you know what I mean? Yes. Yeah. So, but uh, yeah, I think for the most part, the most problems you're going to have are like uh, financial, like maybe family borrowing money or wanting to have money, uh, language issue, maybe with the family or even miscommunication with each other. Even Maya, who speaks great English, sometimes we have like, miscommunication. Yeah. Like I'll say something, maybe it's like an American saying, and she. I literally, instead of misunderstanding, I'll say, no, no, that's not exactly what I meant. I meant this. And, but, yeah, so you have to be, be be careful. Some Filipinas, they don't get jokes. We, well, we have sense of humor. Yeah, Filipinos you guys have a great sense of humor, yeah. Really aggressive sense of humor, if you know Filipinos. But yes, yes. it's different when when it's in English, you know? Yeah, yeah, of course. Because of course. they said Filipinos don't have a sense of humor and not oh, no, sarcastic, no. but Filipinos can be really sarcastic. Yeah. <laughs> but it, it's in the language. But yeah, yes. translating it, yes. then it, uh, it could be sound like an insult. Yeah, and also yeah, yeah. when you're like talking to a foreigner, mm. uh, you take things a bit seriously because you want to like listen and attentively, understand what they are really saying. Like, for example, um, like in the restaurant, mm-hmm. right? Like when we are ordering, remember we went to the restaurant and our friend said to the waiter, can I move to the next table? And the waiter like took it like oh, literally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we, yeah. Made, we made a joke. Our friend was sitting there and she's like, okay, can I... T-? She goes, oh no. She goes, is this on the same bill? And I said, the same bill? I don't even know that guy. Yeah. And he goes... Yeah, can um can, can I move to the Can next? I move to another table? Yeah. And she's like, "Uh, yeah, yes sir, there's a free table." And he's like, yeah. "No, no, no, I'm joking." Like, like uh, she didn't because get we humor. took uh, when it's very near, we took the uh, like things seriously because we want to <laughs> right. understand what he right, was right. really saying. Took it literally, yeah. Yes. So. I think we covered most of the common things that you will encounter when you're dating a Filipina, but I know there are still a lot of problems that you could have encountered and we don't know. And maybe you could share that in the comment section down below. It could be a future video. Yes. <laughs> Let me know in the comment section down below what are the things that you think are the common problems when dating or having a relationship with a Filipina. So this is the end of this vlog. And yep. guys, if you like this video, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, subscribe to my channel. I make videos about Philippines, dating a Filipina, and adventures here in the Philippines. If you want to be updated whenever I upload new videos, make sure to click the notification button so that you'll be notified whenever I upload new videos in the future. So this is the end of this vlog and I'll see you guys again soon. Paalam!